um, a four-year agreement where you have to borrow a bunch of money, try to find your way, go take a bunch of classes that have very little relevancy, and next thing you know, you end up with a college degree and you end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Here's a fact. Half of people that graduate college end up getting a job that does not require a college degree 10 years after they graduate. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm going to be reacting to Charles Kirk's best argument for skipping college. College is scam. Guys, let's go straight into this. I just was curious about your stance on like college is a scam. Yeah. And I just was curious. Uh, you know, why you say that. Let me prove it to you. How many of you have to take classes that are a waste of time that you wish you shouldn't have to take? Well, there you go. <laughs> I yes. rest my case. Yeah, no. How many of you guys know at least three people that dropped out that went to this college previously and earlier? Okay. The national graduation rate is 41%. Most people that go to college do not graduate. You guys actually go to a school that has a lot of applicability in the job market outside of some of the majors that are offered, but aeronautical engineering, computer engineering, um, which, you know, go, go work for Elon. Uh, <laughs> And but so this this school is actually a little bit more of the exception than it is the rule, because uh, I think humanities are largely one of the great wastes of time and kind of societal poisons and cancers that are happening in our society. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy to continue. So, yeah, yeah. So what do you recommend like, an 18 year old dude or a girl um, to do after high school? Um, yeah. Turn up the volume. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. Can we try? Uh, I apologize. Sorry. Yeah. Um, we're, we're going to try. And I will come out there and say hi to you guys in a second. So, um, yeah, and we're going to go say hi to all of our friends over there. Um, so, yeah, what, what, do I, what do I recommend? It, it all depends on what you want to do. That's the most, the, the worst thing you can do is enter into a four-year, um, a four-year agreement where you have to borrow a bunch of money, try to find your way, go take a bunch of classes that have very little relevancy, and next thing you know, you end up with a college degree and you end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Here's a fact. Half of people that graduate college end up getting a job that does not require a college degree 10 years after they graduate. That, that is the best argument I have. It For goes sure. to show the diploma doesn't yeah. actually have. Yeah, I mean I mean, you're looking at engineering students. You're looking at, you know. Well, engineering's different. There's you a, know, finance students. I, I, I qualify that. Students yeah. like that. For example, I went to community college for two years. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of other people go to community college. You get free community college for two years. Then you could transfer over. Uh, and then two years at a, at a college like Cal Poly or, a, you know, a university. And, you know, the top five paying, to, you know, jobs at a college are accountants, engineers, right. uh, teachers. Try to get closer to the mic so people can you know, hear you teachers, yep. engineers, stuff like that. And it's just, you know, the and then the, the, the guys, Great. the people that are wearing the shirts are actually in college. So it, I'm just curious, like, but you know, they, they know better than I do that it's a scam then. I mean, it's just someone like me, you know, I think it just comes down to hard work ethic, you know, no, like I, I don't understand, like not everyone's built for the trades, not everyone's built to go into construction or, you know, work as a painter or whatever they're sure. doing after college. Or a mechanic. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I just, you know, a large majority of people going into college out of high school, I think it's a good choice for, for kids because yeah. they have four years to develop as a human being versus just jumping into the workforce well, that, that's and, a making, good and, making, and making, what, 30, 40 grand, and you can't live off that right now. I mean, are those folks over there developing as human beings? I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about them. But hold on. I'm talking about, you know. That's the, what college produces, though. Angry, bitter, resentful activists that hate the country. Yeah. That's not developing. That's hardening and honestly creating you know a mobilization army for the radical left that's what we've seen you got your your major courses where you're taking you know i'm a real estate finance major so i'm taking classes for real estate finance i have internships in real estate finance it's great I'm, I'm not going into that field after college but i'm saying you take classes at college to get a job after college and there's a most of the universities you get over 75 grand a year out of college and if you do the route of two years at community college and transfer into a into a university yep. You're able to pay off that debt, which is around 20k, 30k, for a school like this. You can go to state school, and then you're off to the races. If so you I, graduate, 41 percent don't, so because they shouldn't have gone in the first place. I mean, then, then what do they do? I mean, what do you do? After they never should have gone. I mean, yeah, we have 11 million open trade jobs in this country. Yeah, so here, here's the here's the thing: people do not want to work with their hands, yeah. and parents don't want to send their kids to go work with their hands because it's considered to be dirty type labor. Well, 11 million job openings in this country that require just a six month certification, uh, whether it be auto mechanic, right, HVAC, plumber, so on and so yeah. forth. And it's not for everybody. But no, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's yeah. just like large majority of people in America right now 
don't are just lazy. They're not going to be doing that after, well, after we, high school. We, well, we agree. So does college make you lazy or work make you work harder? It makes you work harder. Yeah. I, mean, I work throughout college. I've worked. You are the exception then. I mean, um, because employers are disagreeing. They say we've never seen such lazy, entitled, narcissistic college graduates. In fact, most employers say if you have a college degree, you're put in a different category. They prefer people out of high school, unless you want to go work for Bank of America in a soulless laptop job for the rest of your life and yeah. you know, go learn about how men can become pregnant at some HR you know, <laughs> department survey. You know, or, you, or you use your analytical skills that you use in school to get a job that pays or you, six figures. You, don't, you can develop analytical skills outside of college. I think I think you're just. I'm living proof I think, of that. I think you're just. I, yeah, I mean, I almost dropped out too, and and and, and, but and I'm not saying it wasn't it wasn't no. the right choice for you, but more times than not, kids are deceived and lied, and they have tons of animosity because this school is unique. If you go to UCLA or if you go to UC Berkeley, you're not left with thirty thousand dollars in debt. No, you're no. left with one hundred thirty thousand yeah. dollars in debt, right? Not if you do the two-year so college. The, the, again, for free. I I preface this school is a little different, but appreciate the thought. Thanks, man. Guys, this was amazing. Well, I will say this. I feel you don't need to go to college to earn a living. Like, you don't need it. There are a lot of things happening out of the crypto space. You can learn finance. You can learn a lot of courses that they won't even teach in college from you than me. And I think there's a lot of things you can learn outside college. But the fact that college is a place where you learn. Even if they're not teaching you every, like, when I did a year, I was studying French and I hated it. I, I, I feel that because, and I, I didn't see the use in it. Till now, I don't see using. I'm not gonna excuse my school for t giving me that stupid cause. If I'm doing construction, what concerns construction and French? Like, what if I'm working in a fast-food country? I said I will get a translator. Even if I passed it, there's no way I can speak French. I still need a translator. So I don't get the point of them actually teaching me French. <laughs> Let's grab that. But like him, I feel he did a lot. For him to come out there and tell tell Charles Kirk that he went to community college. Uh, two years then he went for normal college. I, I feel he's trying to not discourage people from going to college. I feel going to college is an amazing thing. I'm in college and I feel it's an amazing thing to be honest. But I honestly believe that you don't really need college to make it. It's just that our parents feel that you need it, to be honest. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't want to go. Like, I have my first time really want to drop out, but like, then I started second year and I'm like, I just have to stay true. But to be honest, like, I don't think I need college to be who I am or to make it in life. Like, you don't need it. Most times, like, what my lecturer told me, he said, when you finish school and go to the job place, they still have to teach you. Like, you're still going to learn afresh, just that like you're coming with additional knowledge. So, it just gives you this kind of benefit. And it shows people that you were committed for four years. And Charles Kirk said, college makes you lazy. I, I don't think it makes you lazy. Though, to be honest, from my own experience i feel college may be more hard working because you have to read assignment project and bro you are always on your toes and if you watch netflix and see people in college like i think grownish like you can see the dedication they're always going for class doing project and like you want to do more to beat the competitors so i don't think college will make you lazy maybe in america do but like i don't know why i don't think college make you lazy like, i feel it improves your working experience. But guys, I always think about this. You should like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.